Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to my booth. I'm Jay. Happy Friday. Today one was a, a weird start to the day for me. I was in a live session and that earthquake hit while I was recording with a client. It was a, a new experience for me. Anyway, that's beside the point. Today's sample comes to us from Nathan, and Nathan's curious about EQ, compression, general processing, and if time allows, we'll go into some performance stuff. As always, if you'd like me to review audio of yours, there's a form in the description. Fill it out. Send me something. We'll do this with you down the line. Uh, there's also coaching on my website if that's more your speed. And then, of course, you know, the like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. The YouTube stuff helps us out. Nathan, let's let's hear what we got going on here. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Gold Spotters, the podcast all about cutting your teeth and getting noticed in the music biz. Today, we're taking an in-depth look at crafting original cover art that captures both the vibe of your track and who you are as an artist. Plus, I'll teach you how to create a looping visual to enliven your image on streaming platforms. Nice. Okay. So already a pretty solid start there, Nathan, in terms of... Um what you're working with, the performance, generally your processing sounds uh, decent to me. Um, a couple of things that uh, I will, here, let me drag this over a bit. Uh, I don't know if you're using, um, forgive me, I can't remember what uh, processing software you're using, but the stuff I'll show you here uh, applies no matter what, but there are a couple resonances. This is something that happens to all of us. Uh, if I'll do just like a speed run here, uh, go watch my video on how to EQ, um, but this will help you out a smidge. There are, get out of here music, there are a couple resonances. You can use an equalizer to pinpoint them and tame them a bit. I'll find one and we can uh, talk about it. So the way I find it, uh, I take, I like using a parametric equalizer because I enjoy the visual aspect of it. Never use the visuals to uh, dial things in, but it's helpful to see stuff for me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this node here. I'm going to turn it up so it's amplifying the sound significantly. Then I'm going to take the Q, which determines how wide or narrow this band is. And we're going to make it pretty high or make the band pretty narrow. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to play your audio, sweep back and forth and see if we can hunt out a resonant frequency. Resonant frequencies, um, again, I discuss it in more depth in my uh, EQ video, but they'll sound sort of like a bell ringing if you've ever... Boom, 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 boom. And so we'll listen for some of those and see if we can find one. Ready? Let's go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Gold Spotters, the podcast all about cutting your teeth and getting noticed in the music biz. Today, we're taking an... So you can kind of hear one there where it gets a little bit... Almost like you're uh, in a maybe um concrete tunnel or very tiled bathroom or something like that. So now that we've found a resonant frequency, this one uh, is around 240 hertz, I'm going to drop this band down to between minus 2 dB and minus 4 dB. Less is always more. Uh, and then I'm going to widen the Q out because, again, if you process your sound aggressively, you end up with aggressively sounding processed audio for whatever. <laughs> it's a horrible statement. I can't talk. It's Friday. Sorry. Um, and so I won't do an A-B because it'll be really difficult to hear on YouTube. But, uh, well, why not? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Gold Spotters, the podcast all about cutting your teeth. It's really, really subtle, but all it does is sort of thins out the frequencies that are being amplified by your recording space and tones it down a bit. Explore it if you want. Uh, words of caution, don't do too many of them, two to three at most, because uh, if you do too many, then you're just kind of carving out the whole uh, frequency. Other things, in terms of performance of this one, Love your energy. You're very positive. Uh, you're hitting a lot of the right words, lifting things. Uh, I think you can slow down a bit and 
just relax into things a bit more. Relax is probably the wrong word, but uh, there are times when I guess the reason I'm using the word relax is there are times when I uh, am starting to hear or feel like anxiety at some of the pacing that you're going with. And so just taking a second here and there to, you know, let things breathe a bit. As an example, today we're taking an in-depth look at crafting original cover art that captures both the vibe of your track and who you are as an artist. Plus, and who you are as an artist. Plus, by just jumping right into that next one, I don't have the time, or I didn't when I was listening to it, have the time to catch up to what you've said. I'm not processing the information. I'm just digesting this really positive and energetic energy that you have uh, performed this with. And so in that, you can just sort of notch the pace back a gear, downshift a smidge, and give us moments and little pauses to uh, digest and breathe with you what we're saying. So in that one, and who you are as an artist, plus, and who you are as an artist, plus, uh, it just gives me a little bit more of a uh, confidence in the thing that you're telling me because you sound confidence, confident and not rushed in any sense. Let's keep going indulge in the rich flavors of our handcrafted coffee brewed to perfection each sip is a moment of pure bliss awakening your senses discover our wide selection of gourmet blends carefully sourced and roasted for the ultimate coffee experience treat yourself to the taste of excellence so that was good as well um Again, you're doing a really great job of lifting specific words for us to hear. My notes here in terms of processing, again, the EQ is solid. Uh, your compression sounds okay. I do hear a fair amount of reflections in your space. So I may look at treating your space a bit more, putting up more padding. If you've got a spare uh, comforter lying around or blanket, tacking that up to the wall can be helpful throwing pillows or laundry into your space can also be good. Um, just because I'm hearing a lot of your room and not as much of your voice, and that just sort of diffuses things a smidge. Uh, in terms of this one, in, in, in speaking about performance, um, I say this often, but there's a little bit of playing the tone of things rather than telling the story or more so than telling the story. Because here with coffee, there are certain things that if we're having a conversation, you'll just naturally hit. Uh, let's play one and uh, think of an example. Each sip is a moment of pure bliss. So you've lifted pure bliss in a really nice way, I think but it drifts out of just a really relational story. Each sip is a moment of pure bliss. And if you're actually talking to an individual person, uh, instead of you need to buy this coffee, uh, it, it, it becomes a little bit more interpersonal rather than painting this sort of grandiose picture. And that's what they are talking about with the conversational read, where it's just, you know what? Nathan, each sip is a moment of pure bliss instead of uh, each sip is a moment of pure bliss. That's not what you did. That's me doing a uh, really dramatic exaggeration, but um, grounding it a bit more in the person you're talking to and why they need to hear this. You love coffee and each sip, it feels this way when you drink it. And I really hope that you get to enjoy this coffee with me sometime. That sort of sentiment will take you very, very far if you invest a little bit in it. Let's listen to the next one. Turn your house into a dream home with our range of high quality home improvement products. Already uh, downshifting like we were talking about with the first one, because if you start with that, uh, how does it start? Turn your house into a dream home. Turn your house into a dream home. Um, I'm already freaking out. <laughs> that could just be me. Uh, there are times when you need to speak quickly where the art then becomes uh, not having a sort of pressurized energy, if that makes sense. You can, you can still deliver things at a fast clip without having a uh, compressed 
um, not in terms of the audio processing, but um, in terms of the uh, uh, energy. Because if, as an example or demonstration, if I compress the energy, again, this isn't uh, an emulation of your performance, but um, if I'm compressing it, turn your house into a dream home. It, it, I, you feel the tension within me, whereas I can still deliver it that quickly. Turn your house into a dream home uh, at a relaxed sort of, um, my body is just more relaxed instead of this sort of uh, tense thing. It's kind of hard to explain um, without just doing it. So I hope that's helpful and I'm not just talking a bunch of nonsense to you. Uh, but let's let's listen to it all again. Turn your house into a dream home with our range of high quality home. Imp ah, I'm sorry to belabor this, but turn your house into a dream home. The content of that I'm missing by virtue of the pacing. Turn your house into a dream home. There's a there's a uh, uh, revolution happening. We're re-upping everything. The this house is now going to become something magical. It's going to become your dream home. And uh, those are just important storytelling moments that we should focus on. Improvement products from elegant furniture and stylish decor to energy efficient appliances. We have everything you need to create a space that reflects your unique style. Enhance your living environment and make every moment at home extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. Those notes. Uh, you can feel free to downshift a smidge or uh, instead of keeping the pace up, you can. Um, uh, or the ten we went through it. I was going to try to summarize, but I'm I'm slipping in and out. Let's keep going. Uh, oh, before I continue on, in terms of your processing, because I was kind of waiting for longer to talk more about it. Again, I think it sounds pretty good. Treating your space more will help with your compression, because in terms of compressing your audio, compression will amplify any flaws in your recording environment and any flaws in your equipment or performance in a lot of ways. And the reason it does that is... Um, it just like distills everything into a, uh, it's pulling all, if there's, if this is your audio and there's like one error here, if I compress it, now this is all of your audio and the error just takes up more real estate. Um, not saying that there's an error, but if like the reverbs in your space are just made more prevalent in relation to everything else, uh, it's easier to hear. So by treating your space, your compression will improve dramatically, I believe. Hey there, kids. Get ready for a fun-filled adventure with our lovable characters. From singing and dancing to solving mysteries, every day is a new and exciting journey. So put on your imagination hats and let's embark on magical escapades together. Yeah, that's a really great energy, particularly for a kid-focused thing. Uh, so I really dig the energy there. I do think that the thing that we've been talking about, where if you refocus on the story a bit more, uh, things that made me really excited about the opportunity here, because I do think that this spot fits you really well. Get ready for a fun-filled adventure with our lovable characters. From singing and dancing to solving mysteries, uh, that was it. So from singing and dancing to solving mysteries, you can sort of paint a picture of the many different things that you can do with all of our lovable characters. You can sing and dance and you can solve mysteries. And the beautiful thing about uh, stuff that's geared toward kids is A, the capacity for joy just becomes much more boundless. We as adults we get so subdued in everything and it's just why would we why would we cage our joy into such a small band of you know corporate whoa what's going on there music's back uh cage our joy into such a small band of you know expression when it, kids you can get stoked about a stick that you found at the park and that stick could become a magic wand or your best friend anyway so with that spot i think there's a lot of room to you know pull a lot of things in a lot of different directions and generally with kids stuff there's more opportunity for that kind of stuff but 
that's all couched in the caveat that it really has to be story focused and focused on the person you're talking to, why what they are hearing matters and uh, why what you're saying is exciting to them specifically, as specifically as you can. Anyway, Nathan, thanks so much for sending this in. I really loved listening to your stuff and I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, And for the rest of you, if you have any questions, Feel free to reach out here on my website. And until the next one of these, hey, be well, y'all. Until then, toodles.